So a lot of people recently have been asking where and how I buy my content. You've probably watched my income reports and you'll see that I'm spending a fortune on content at the moment. But who's writing it? Where am I getting it from? So that's what I thought we'd talk about in today's video. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I thought we'd talk about content, how I get my content, where I outsource my content and how I've managed to build a team of in-house writers. But before we get into this, just want to say stay tuned to the end of the video where again I'll be doing another YouTube channel shout out related to affiliate marketing and blogging, content and channel that I think you'll enjoy. So stay tuned to the end. So first of all, let me talk about my in-house writers and then what we'll do is we'll jump onto the computer and I'll show you where I'm currently outsourcing some of my content. So to give you a bit of background about my story, if you're new to my channel, I've been blogging now for about three and a half years and I've been doing it full time for the last four months. Now over the past three and a half years, I've managed to build a team of, I call them in-house writers, obviously they're not in my house, but it basically means they're writers that I'm in direct contact with that write some exclusively for me, some also write for other bloggers. But they're basically people I can call upon without having to actually use an external company, which obviously then adds a middleman fee or they want to make their share. So these are writers that I deal with directly on a very personal one-to-one -one level. Now, finding great writers is probably one of the most important parts about building your website or your blog or your content, apart from maybe keyword research, which you probably think is the most important, but then certainly finding a writer is definitely the next most important. Now, obviously the best way to produce content for your website is to write it yourself. There's nobody going to be more passionate about your website than you. But if you're like me and have terrible spelling and terrible grammar, then you may find that some of your content doesn't do as good because if it doesn't read very good, people can spot that. In fact, I was just on the computer yesterday and my son's getting into affiliate marketing and I was showing him some examples and we found a website where literally all their SEO titles didn't read right. They just didn't even make sense whatsoever. Now, as he could clearly see from that, that's not going to encourage anybody to click through and read your content if the title doesn't make sense. So when I first started out, I wrote everything myself and just published it. I didn't wait, I just published it and I took the consequences for that, whether that be good or whether that would be bad. I ran it through as many spell checkers and things like Grammarly and did everything I could. I even got family and friends to read them to give me some feedback and catch any spelling errors. In fact, one of the most embarrassing things I ever did was show my first ever website to my colleagues at work and the first article they looked at was full of spelling mistakes and grammar errors and they kind of just laughed at me. So I knew from that moment it was vitally important that I step up my game with my content. Now, whether that would be somebody to proofread my articles or whether I started to outsource the content. Now, it wasn't possible for me to start outsourcing right at the very beginning, probably like it isn't for you guys. It is very costly to get a good number of articles produced each week or month. Uh, it, it is expensive, don't get me wrong. You know, whether you pay in two cents a word or 10 cents a word, it all adds up. And until your website's making some money, it is very difficult to find that cash to reinvest in a business that's possibly still in the sandbox or it's possibly not bringing any money in. So it seems very hard to actually lay out money for something that's not bringing you in a return. And I totally get that. I was explaining that to my son yesterday. I said, you know, if you want to grow your website, at some point you will have to outsource it to either a writer you find yourself or a company. But there is a cost implication for that. And like he said to me, dad, I can't afford that. It's not making any money. And I totally get it. And that's why you need to either find a good, reliable writer that's inexpensive, but can work with you, or you outsource it as soon as your website starts making some money. So how did I find my writers? Well, they came from various sources. Unfortunately, I can't just say to you, go to this website and there's all the writers. They were built up over the past three and a half years from different sources. Things like me reaching out in Facebook groups and asking, is there any good writers that need some work? 
I also went on Upwork and I posted a notice in there saying I was looking for content writers and I even put how much I was willing to pay. Then I also went on Fiverr and yes, believe it or not, there are some really good writers on Fiverr. Fiverr's got a really bad name over the last few years, but in the last six months, I've been using Fiverr a lot more for different things. So I get some of my thumbnails from there. I get my Pinterest pins from there. I have some who designs logos from there. And also I have found some writers on there. So you do have to ask around, post in Facebook groups, post in Discord groups. I have a Discord group. I'm sure if somebody went in there and said, hey, I'm looking for a writer, is anybody interested? I'm sure somebody would step forward and say, yeah, I can help you out. So I've slowly built that team up now to a point where I have eight full-time writers. Now I say full-time, what I mean by that is I don't pay them a full-time salary. They're all self-employed, they're all freelance writers, but I give them as many jobs as I think they could probably handle in a week. So it is pretty much full-time. They can earn as little or as much as they like. We keep in touch with time scales, so I will say, um, I'm going on holiday next week, so here's five articles. I want them ready for when I return. And they will say the same to me. They will say, Carl, I'm going on holidays. I can't do anything this week, so I will assign it to a different writer. Now, we keep in touch via email and sometimes on Skype, and I will set out my expectations weekly. So every Monday, I send out my new jobs to the writers via email, and every Monday, they send me their invoice for the previous week. And I pay that by either PayPal or direct bank transfer, depending on which country they're located in. Now, if we're working on any big projects, what I do is I get together a spreadsheet for the website. And that spreadsheet will have a color code system, so each writer will have a color. And then all I will do is I will go through the spreadsheet, I will personally do the keyword research, I will get the article ideas and the titles together, add them to the spreadsheet, and then I will say to each writer, here's a spreadsheet, your color is blue, for example. That writer will then go on and anything that's highlighted in blue, that writer knows it is for them to do. Then what they do is as they start writing that article, they turn that blue article into amber or it's kind of an orange color. So that way I know that they have started the article and then when they finish the article, they turn that to green. That way I can literally glance at the spreadsheet and I know which articles are finished and I need to go in and finalize and which articles are still in production and which articles have not started. So it's a very, very simple process and it seems to be working. Like I say, a team of eight writers from one spreadsheet per website is fine. If I'm spreading them across several different websites, then I will just email them weekly and say, here's three articles for you for that website, here's three articles for you for that other website. So how much do I pay my writers? Well, three cents per word, and that is set across the board. I think three cents is a fair amount to pay. You can certainly get writers cheaper. I've seen a lot of people say they get writers for two cents a word, but I believe if you find a good writer, you need to pay them for their skills. If they're good enough for you to hire and they're better than you, why wouldn't you pay them a reasonable rate? And if you pay them a reasonable rate, they're gonna stick with you, they're gonna be loyal to you, and they're really going to do the best work they can. Now you can pay even higher than that. I have tested a couple of writers that I found on Upwork, and they were 10 cents per word. They were supposedly some of the best writers out there, and their content will blow everybody's away, and it didn't. I purchased two articles that cost me around $150 each. And to be honest, they wasn't much better than my three cents writers. It had a little bit more technical detail, but that was about it. So why do I outsource some of my content? Well, in the next few moments, we're going to jump on the computer and I will show you where I outsource my content. I have been exclusively using one company, but recently in the last few months, I've now branched out and I've used another couple of content providing services. And I'll explain when we get onto the computer why I've used the individual services, what packages I use and how much it is. But the reason I outsource some of my content is two reasons really. Number one is quantity. You'll see from my income reports that some months I am producing over a hundred pieces of content and that's a lot even for eight writers to handle and also there's the editing side of it, the uploading and the editing side of it. So quantity is one reason and number two, speciality. 
So some topics and websites that I have are very specialized and need a lot of research and a lot of data. Now my in-house writers are certainly capable of doing that. They're very competent writers, but often I know that because it's out of the niche they're used to working in, it will take them longer to produce that content. It will be a lot harder for them to write that content. And it's often not fair for me to give them content and topics that's going to take them days and days to write a couple of thousand words. They need to earn a living. They need to be churning out this content so they can make a regular wage because I don't pay them a set salary. I pay them per article. So if there's any websites like my high ticket item website, which is very techy, it's very technical data driven, I would outsource that to some of these companies because they can give that work to the writers that they know are best suited to technical or data driven content. And they could take as long as they want because on that piece of content, I'm not worried that that writer's not getting paid a weekly salary. If they take three, four days to write one piece of content, well, that's up to them. But I feel committed to my writers to make sure that I give them content that they can churn out at a regular, pretty fast pace, but still top quality. And mind you, like I said, they are very, very good writers, but I want them to be able to churn out this content so they can earn a living each week. So if it's technical or unusual or out of the comfort zone, I will go to these companies because they have people that are specialized in different topics working for them. So I think we should head over to the computer now and I'll show you the three companies that I've been outsourcing content to, one for the past three years and the other two quite recently. Okay, so here we are at the three content providers I outsource some of my articles to. And the first one we're going to talk about is Buy, Sell, Text. Now, the reason I'm going to show you all three of these is because with all services, there are some pros and cons. And there are reasons why I use each one of these services. So the first one, Buy, Sell, Text. Let's just log into my dashboard now. And you can see here from my dashboard that I have recently ordered $6,243 worth of content. So that's 166 articles. So you can see I do use them quite a bit. Now, if we go to buy content, I'll show you how the process works. So you simply click regular order or you can upload from a spreadsheet. Then you would give the order a name. So it might be pet website or content for pet website. Then you would choose the type of content that you want. Primarily, I use the blog content or I use the buyer's guide. Now you can see here that the price levels here change for the type of content that you want. So you can see if I go to blog content, for a good quality writer, it's two and a half cents a word. For their great writers, it's four cents a word. And for their best writers, it's eight cents per word. And if we change that to buyer's guide, you can see the price goes up. So once you select the level of writer that you want, let's say three cents, click next step. You then choose the length of content that you want. So let's say we're going to do 800 words and then you would give it uh, an SEO title. So this might be, you know, how to feed a rabbit. Once you do that, you give them some instructions, provide them with as much detail as you can, links to other ranking articles, links to YouTube channels, subheadings you may want, you can give them as much information as possible. And then you simply click next step. And then there are a few settings here so you can get them to post to your website into draft free, which is a great plus for one of these services. Or you can get a speedy delivery, they can write your meta description, and they can add the resources. So they will be the links at the bottom of the article that they've used to actually collate some of the data. So it adds a link, an external link, to the piece of content. Some people like that, some people don't include it. And that is it, you would simply click next step and make your payment and it would then land in your dashboard. So if we go to my dashboard, you can see here, these are the orders that I've placed recently and it will just state that it is uh, pending or it has started and it'll tell you the name of the writer that's actually writing it. Once it is complete, it will say finished and it will say download. You simply click the button on the right hand side and it'll download and you can copy and paste it onto your website, or if you've chosen the option for them to upload it directly to the website, and you can go to your WordPress dashboard and the content should be there. Like I say, you can ask them to revise it if you're not happy with it, and they will re-upload it once the uh, changes have been made. Now, like I said, there are some pros and cons with this. So what are the pros for buy, sell, text? Speed of delivery is number one. They write the articles incredibly fast, usually within 72 hours. I don't think I've had anything that's taken longer than 72 hours. So that is definitely one of the pro. 
Another pro is it's a very personal company. You can talk to them directly. You will, if you start ordering quite a bit of content, get a content manager who you can liaise with, and you can also give feedback for certain writers as well. So I now have a list of writers I like. So if there's a topic that I think somebody's done particularly good in, I will on that note say, I want this article to be assigned to this particular writer. Now they can't always guarantee that that writer is available. So sometimes they will offer you an alternative, but they often email me back and say, hi, Carl, you wanted Claire, she's on holiday. Would you take this writer? Here's some examples of their work. And that I'm fine with that. And I think that's a really good part of their service. So what are the cons with this service? Well, one of the cons is the ordering side of it. Now, if you want 10 articles that are a thousand words each, you just follow the process that I did and just add all the different SEO titles. However, if you want variant levels, so let's say you want three articles that are a thousand words, but then you want four articles that are 2000 words, and maybe you want different levels of writers, you have to place the separate orders. So I would place an order for four articles that are a thousand words, submit it, pay for it, done. And then I would have to submit another order for the 2000 word articles. So often I'm submitting four or five orders where it would be nice to actually just do it on one order and submit various levels of writers and various page lengths and do it all within one order. So that's a little bit of a, a, a downfall. Another part I found a little bit tricky was uploading to your WordPress dashboard. Maybe it's just me. I don't seem to have set it up right, but I'm happy with buy, sell text just to get them to do the article and I just download it and I copy and paste it onto the website myself. But if you're wanting to place orders for large quantities, I'm sure you'll want it uploading to their dashboard. So you need to figure that out. I'm sure if you reach out to them, it's probably a very easy process. I just not got around to actually doing it myself with them. So I just download it and copy and paste. So that's the reason why Buy Sell Text is one of my number one companies that I outsource to. And I have managed to get a discount for you guys. So there will be a discount link below. It is an affiliate link. I will make a commission if you use it but you will get 10% off your first order with Buy Sell Text. Now it is off your first order only. So the next company I've been using is Hands Off Publishing. Now these are relatively new, I believe, and certainly I've only used them in the past six months. Now this company is getting some really good reviews. A lot of people are actually talking about them in social media, in the blogging world, in Discord groups, Facebook groups. So you can see some of the feedback that they've got from different bloggers here. And I'm actually giving them some feedback. I'm quite generally happy with the service that they provided. And I'm happy to support this new company. Like I said, I've only used them for six months. I've not met them in person or anything. So you will have to check them out yourself, see what you think. But I don't see any harm in giving them a try. Now, if we have a look at the pricing strategy, this is one of the reasons why I went with this company. Well, there are actually two reasons. The first reason I went with them is because it is very easy to pick a package. So this company is all around kind of bulk quantity and packages of content. And I like that. I'm at the stage now where if I order an article, I'm not really ordering one, I'm ordering four or five. And it's very easy to do that with this company. Now, a great thing you can see here, they have a tester service. So you can place an order for one 1,000 word article and it works out at um, three, nearly four cents per word, which is a good price. It's five day fulfillment, pretty quick service. So you can get a thousand word article for $38. Now, as the pricing plans go up in size, you get more and more discount. So you can see here their baby plan is 10,000 words. So that's going to get you a good six, seven articles, and it comes down to three and a half cents a word. And again, 12 days for fulfillment, $350. That's a really good price. And then as you step up, if you could afford the authority package, which is 50,000 words, which is going to get you a lot of content, it's three cents per word, it's 25 days for fulfillment, and it's $1,500. Now again, like I said, there are some pros and cons with all this service, and I think one of the pros on this service is it's pretty simple to order and use the service. There are various pricing packages for everybody, 
You can test them out with one single article to see what you think. And then when you're happy, you may think of stepping up in quantity and they do submit it direct to your website. Now I found the process of doing that very, very simple. I was really happy with them putting it into draft and I found the work that they did was superb. Now, one of the reasons I use them is because, again, I had some very technical content that I wanted to produce, and these guys did a great job. Very technical, very data-driven, really good content. So I had no problems with the content whatsoever. So what are some of the downfalls of using hands-off publishing? Well, I didn't like the images that they use. So in the content they provided, they do provide you some free images but the images wasn't great. Some of the images didn't really even match the article, but to be fair, I use all my own images anyway. I use Adobe Stock or Canva, and I don't like using anybody's images that they submit because I don't know where they've come from. I don't know if the license is free, and if anything should ever happen, I need to be able to say, that image on that website was purchased with a license, and it is paid for, or it's free, and it's license free, and with using content services and their images, I just can't get that data. So if anybody tries to sue me for an image that's on my website, I need to be able to prove where that image came from. And using images from these content providers, I can't get that information. So um, although I didn't really like the images, it wasn't a big problem. I wasn't paying for the images. You get them free. You're paying for the content. And then I think another slight downfall is, like I said, that it is a package-focused company, really. You can get that tester article, but you can't continuously ask for one article. They want you to purchase these plans. So the next plan up is $350. A lot of you can't afford that. I know right back in the beginning, I couldn't. So I think maybe they should do a 5,000 word package, some, somewhere in between tester and the baby plan, which is the 10,000 word one. I think $350 for some people is a lot of money. And I totally get that in the beginning, I couldn't pay $350. But could I afford it $100 or $150? I probably could. I just think they need to do some smaller packages or, or split some of these packages down so they're accessible to all. But again, go give them a check. Go use their tester service. Test them out. Again, I have a 10% off discount. The link is in the description below. And you do need to use my code when you sign up for them, which is CARL10OFF. If you use that, you're going to get 10% off your order. And the final one we're going to look at today is niche website builders. They have a lot of services available, but I've been using their content providing service. And again, I've been using this for my ultra technical topics. So these guys are very, very specialist in the service that they do. They have very specific writers that are very good in particular niches. So if you have anything that's maybe medical related or health or uh, technical or techie, these guys can get some great writers on board. So if you have a look at their website, you can see all the recommendations that they've had. They do the keyword research for you. They've got all their own in-house writers. So they, they don't outsource it to anybody. They have their own team of writers. So you know that they're held accountable for the quality of work that they do. They have some review templates. They optimize it and upload it to your website. They do the full package. Now you can see here some of the services they do. They do a 10,000 word package for $600, 20,000 words for $1,200. So it isn't cheap, but you are getting some ultra high quality content. Again, I've used them. I think I purchased the 10K package and I was really, really happy with the service. One or two of the articles did need a few amendments, but they was quick to do that. And overall, I was really happy. So one of the pros of this service it is pretty much hands off. You give them the topic or the website niche and they will go off and they will do the research. They will do the search analysis. They will write the content. They will upload it to your website. They will add images and the images from them was much better quality and they will literally do everything for you. All you will have to do is go in, check it out, hit publish, and you're done. So if you have more money than time, and you want 10,000 words putting on your website, they will do it very speedily, very good quality, and very easily. Now with Niche Website Builders, I've managed to get a landing page. So you can see here, I've managed to get a discount coupon for you. So if you want a discount on any of their services, not just their content providing services, they do backlinks, they build websites for you, they do all sorts of different services. 
you just need to head over to my landing page. The link is in the description below. Enter your details on there and you will get a 10% discount. It varies on different packages what discount you get, but there is a discount for all the service that they offer. Just use my link in the description and head over and see what discounts are available for the type of service or package that you're interested in. Now, Adam and Mark over at Niche Website Builders are friends of mine and I highly recommend them. Again, I wouldn't recommend any service that I've not used. I have used them. They will vouch for that. And I do recommend their service. They are trying to grow their reputation. And trust me, they will want to do a good job for you, particularly if they're associated with a certain YouTuber or a blogger. They will want to make sure the quality of the service they provide is first class. So again, I highly recommend you choose them. What are the cons with them? It is a little bit more expensive. Don't get me wrong, even with 10% off, it's six cents per word, then you're gonna get 10% off. So it isn't the cheapest service out there, but it is certainly one of the highest quality services out there. And this week's channel shout out goes to Minted Empire. Keith is a blogger over in Ireland who has just started documenting his journey with affiliate marketing and he is now sharing his story on YouTube. Very new channel, just got 17 subscribers at the time of filming this and he's just got a couple of videos up but he is definitely going to be producing a lot of great content. He's a great guy and I think if you can understand his accent you'll love his channel. So go check him out, Minted Empire, link is in the description below. So thanks for joining me today. Remember all the three content providers I've mentioned today have links in the description below. All of them have managed to get a discount for you. And again, the codes, links or discounts will be in the description below. They are affiliate links and I will make a commission if you use it. And I do really appreciate it when you use my links because it helps me, supports the channel and it helps me get more videos out. But for now, thanks for joining me. Good luck with your website and I hope you get some great content on there and rank well.